so so first problem on superposition theorem determine current for a given circuit this is 4 ohms this is 3 volts and this one is a 0.25 amperes here i am indicating current i okay so the question is uh, determine current so this i you have to evaluate right so first i will take direct method without superposition theorem okay so direct method solution Okay. In this direct method, so these all are connected to one particular branch, right? All are connected to one particular branch. So that means what voltage drop across the all the elements are same. So here three volts means here also we can expect the three volts, and here also we have three volts. Okay. So if you observe this one, we have three volts drop, and we have four ohm resistance. That means what current equals to what three by four ohms. That will give 0.75 amperes, right? That means which is a 0.75 amperes. Wait a second. 0.75 amperes. Okay. So in this branch, 0.75. Already we have 0.25 amperes current in this branch. So this is 0.25. 0.25. And the living currents are 0.75 ampere is one and 0.25 ampere is one. So the entering current should become what? by applying kcl at this point by kcl entering current i the living currents are 0 0.75 amperes plus 0 0.25 amperes that means what i equals to 1 ampere so this is the current value okay so now this is direct method okay now you can apply superposition theory okay in this direct method i is equal to what a 0 0.75 plus a 0 0.25 Entering current equals to leaving current, that then you will get one ampere. Okay, this is a direct method. Now I am taking superposition theorem. Okay, in this superposition theorem, so the, this entire circuit having two sources one is 3 volts voltage source, and another one is 0.25 amperes current source. We have total two sources, but according to superposition theorem, you can consider one independent source at a time, right? First, with respect to a case one. So one important thing is what a uh, one independent source, one independent source at a time, okay. Source at a time, and the remaining sources, and the remaining sources, and the remaining sources. If that is voltage source, we can make it as short circuit, and if that is current source, we can make it as open source, open circuit, right? So first I will take with respect to 3 volts voltage source, with respect to 3 volts voltage source, okay. According to this, that means what I am considering only 3 volts voltage source, I am removing this 0.25 ampere current source by opening the circuit, right. <coughs> okay, now this is uh, 3 volts. Here we have uh, 4 ohms uh, resistance and now I can open uh, this current source, okay. That means, I uh, circuit lo okay source matter mein undal, SPT apply chai set up and me ki kada yedate current find out chai mantu naro, dhani I1 ga indicate chai mantu, okay. Manam at, at a time, one independent source ni consider chai sunan ga bati, consider chai se prati source ki sambhan chana response ni I1, I2, I3, all continue just to allow it. Final ga, any currents add chess system and resultant current and also, right? Okay. This is the first case and second case lo in case 2. So with respect to uh, 0 0.25 amperes current source. Okay, with respect to 0 0.25 ampere current source. 
that means you can consider only current so you can remove this 3 volt source by making short circuit right so in that case uh, i am getting this is short circuit right by making this voltage source as short circuit and you can keep the resistance as it is and you can take current source okay that is a 0.25 ampere and this is 4 ohm okay and here you can indicate the current value i2 with respect to first source i am taking i1 and with respect to second source i am taking i2 after that you can take the linear sum that is i equals to i1 plus i2 okay in the case 3 i am taking linear sum okay in case 3 i am taking linear sum that is i equals to i1 plus i2 right now if you observe this one this is open circuit so this side current equals what zero because of open circuit current should be zero that means entire current is flowing through this particular 4 ohm resistor right uh, if you want to find out i1 so that i1 equals what 3 volts by 4 ohm that means you will get i1 equals from 0.75 amperes right so here uh, you can fill this one 0.75 ampere next then you can come to this case 2 I am considering 0.25 ampere. Here the current equals to 0.25 ampere. Here also 0.25. Okay. And this is the node. For this node, we have two branches. Okay. One is short circuit branch, another one is 4 ohm branch. Right. Short circuit branch means we have 0 ohm resistance and this resistance having 4 ohm resistance. Now this current chooses which path? I already told you, always current chooses minimum resistance path. Right. So, minimum resistance is what? 0 ohm. So, that this entire 0.25 ampere current flowing through this 0 ohm resistance. So, that here in this uh, branch, there is no current, right? In this, that, that entire 0.25 ampere current is flowing through this 0 ohm means this side current will become what? 0, right? 0 current means what? This 4 ohm uh, branch will act as open circuit, right? So, now the 0.25 is rotating through this uh, 0 ohm resistance, right? So now I2 equals how much? Here we have 0.25 ampere. Here we have 0.25 ampere. Right? Then I2 equals to 0.25 ampere. Now we can substitute here 0.25. So what is the uh, linear sum? Then I equals to 1 ampere. 0.75 plus 0.25 is nothing but what? 1 ampere. Right? So if you observe in the direct method, we are getting what? 1 ampere right in this superposition theorem we are getting 1 ampere right in both the ways uh, we are getting same result okay but this if you consider one independent source at a time so we have one source and the rest of the things are pass, uh, passive elements passive RLCs so you can simply you can simply evaluate the individual responses that is the advantage of uh, the superposition theorem okay while considering multiple uh, sources at a time so this is the best method right at a time we can consider one independent source and rest of the sources should be uh, ignored by making voltage source as short circuit and current source as open circuit then uh, we can evaluate the individual responses by considering one independent source at a time that is the best suitable method right so this is about uh, uh, problems regarding superposition theorem so i will give one uh, Okay, I will give one exam, uh, one assignment problem. The second problem. Determine I. this is 1 ampere this is 1 ohm this is 1 ohm this here also one uh, resistor that is 
wait a second one more this is also one more one more get the current equals to i1 determine uh, sorry not uh, this is i determine i right so and here one volt this one is a one volt okay so you can find out uh, determine i by using spt okay by using you can solve in both ways direct you can apply nodal and mesh analysis you can find out in that way and at the same time you can use spt and you can evaluate that i value then you can observe so which which is the be, be, better method uh, to evaluate the individual response within less time okay so and uh, this is one problem uh, for you and the next problem third problem so determine i here also same you can use the superposition theorem and you can use direct method okay in the both ways you can solve okay So this is one volt, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more, and this one is two ohm, and this one is two volts, and here we have current I. Okay, determine current I, and this is one ampere. Here we have one, two, three sources are there. Okay, so you can simplify this. Uh, uh, problem uh, with the help of both methods direct as well as superposition theorem right so this is about superposition theorem in the next session we will discuss about uh, thevenin's and norton's theory okay